Choo choo chicken nugget farts. Mashed potato pus. Watermelon pantry nugget tray. Purple monkey dishwasher. Which one of those is an actual beer name? Find out now. Welcome back to the Dead Bod Refinement Channel's beer review section. Um, so, which one did you guess? Did you guess the first one, the second one, the third one, or the fourth one? Well, this week our beer comes from a company that actually brings you a beer named Purple Monkey Dishwasher. Yes. I honestly don't know if it lends any type of hint towards the actual beer that they have, but it's a delicious beer. This beer this week is uh, 6.7 ABV and 35 IBUs. So it's by the company Evil Genius, uh, the beer company, and it's a chocolate peanut butter stout. So let us go to the website and let, let's find out some more information that we have. So uh, we've been uh, experiencing a little bit of technical difficulties over around here in Pennsylvania because either power went in and out, I'm either too tired, yada, yada, yada. It's something that was happening. So the Evil Genius website will be um, placed um, at the um, description below. It's a nice beer company. And um, the way that they come up with their uh, beer names is illustrated on their website. I've heard a rumor that is a little bit more in depth, but I don't know if it's true or not. So I won't spread it. So all their beers um, is just phenomenal to say the least. They have uh, things like raspberry shandies, watermelon blonde ales, uh, lemongrass IPA, and their names are just ridiculously cool. Like, you're just killing me, Smalls. Hashtag I can't even. Never gonna give you up. New phone, who dis is a caramel macchiato porter. Um, and these beers are just available throughout the year or they're available on a seasonal uh, basis. Han shot first in double IPA. Picks where it didn't happen, mosaic IPA. By Felicia Passion Fruit IPA. Santa, I know him. And these names are just ridiculous. So if you go to their actual website and you click on their patented name, uh, beer naming process, the graphic illustrates that there's something going on there. Um, and let's get to our dear, dear beer that we're talking about here today. Our uh, beer label is pretty simple. It's by you, Evil Genius, right there. Let's bring it in a little bit closer for you. It's a purple monkey dishwasher. It's a chocolate peanut butter porter. Like I said, alcohol volume is 6.7. The um, bitterness rating is 35. Um, malts two row, chocolate crystal, roasted and um, roasted barley. Hops are Tetanang and Warrior. Um, this beer is available year round. Um, they package it in draft, and they also package it in a bottle. Uh, their description on their website is a beautiful description to say the least. Purple Monkey Dishwasher is our robust porter made with chocolate and peanut butter. We start with a world-class American-style porter recipe, which is already laden with notes of chocolate, sweet malts, caramel, and molasses. And then take it to the next level by infusing it with natural chocolate and peanut butter. The final product is like a candy bar in a bottle that is deceptively... Uh, Wow, I don't even know that that word is quaffable despite its strength. Just take one sip and you'll understand why this is our signature year-round porter. So, as always, I'm going to uh, rate it. Um, and I'm also going to pour it into a glass so that you can see its color. Um, so, but this website is not um, comparable to some of the other ones. It's very simple. Um, I like websites that are like that, but it's also aesthetically pleasing at the same time but it is extremely simple uh they have a, a pineapple hefeweizen i love lamp molly like these names are ridiculous so like i said in the description below i will provide an actual link for this so let's pop this bad boy open Dark Porter is a beautiful thing. Kind of looks like Coke, ironically, as I put it into a Star Wars Coca-Cola glass. See right there? This one's an easy one, as soon as you start sniffing on it and the aromas do come off. 
the, the overpowering aromas of chocolate and peanut butter hit your nose. I would call this a dessert beer myself, but it's, you know, a year-round favorite, so uh, um, most of the dessert beers that I've had already are on the line of seasonal, so I don't want to overstep my boundaries, but for aroma, it's color, it's appeal when you first take a look at it. I'm going to give it a, a 7 out of 10. Yeah, that is a candy bar in a bottle. Um, taste and flavor, 8 out of 10 overall. I'm going to you know, bump it up to an 8.5 out of 10. I know that's a little bit rare, but hey, it's a good beer. And um, as we go on throughout this week, I'm going to try to select two other beers this week to do another beer review um, sometime this week um, if the power goes out. Again, like it's been doing over the last uh, few days, then it'll be shoddy until I can actually upload something new. I recently uploaded some videos onto the life uh, section of my channel. Uh, a my mix, which is M I or M Y X, is a machine that's kind of like the Coco Cowl Freestyle. I hope it starts popping up more places because it uses natural and organic ingredients. I'm not one of those natural and organic uh, people that push for it, but you know I've noticed throughout the last few years that the stuff that I've abused myself on the sugar end has been uh, doing reckless damage to my body. Again, with a little bit of moderation, we can uh, hold back that damage. So. Um, but besides that, um, the other one that I did was a nacho cheese pizza dough and also a ranch hot wing pizza dough. And I explained how it goes in there and I provided the recipe in those videos as well. Just visit that other folder that's a part of this channel and you'll be able to watch those, um, videos. If you'd like to see anything else, just give, um, comments below and let me know what you would like to see. Um, a friend of mine challenged me to do a Funyun pizza dough. I don't know how well that's going to work, but um, I may happen to um, try to figure out if I can cre create the flavor through seasonings and not actually use the snack food Funyun before I do this. So, Or, excuse me, onion flavored rice snack puff pastry, whatever you want to call it. So, but... I've seen some other beer reviews though. A gentleman out from Las Vegas seemingly follows me, so I followed him and he does a really well job. Uh, once I get permission to actually link him in my videos, I will do so because he seems to have a passion for it as well and he has a little bit more knowledge than myself. So I will um, uh, try to message him either through YouTube or try to find him via Facebook Messenger and just ask to see if I can link his videos so that he can get some more traffic towards his site. Um, and I uh, try to also find out how beer sharing could work because I think that if we could get a network of people that enjoy beer, we could share it a lot among ourselves. But I don't know the legality behind that, so I don't want to get anybody in trouble before I know what would actually happen. Well, in other news, I um, made some headway this week at work, and that's pretty much I can say about that. So I hope you enjoyed this beer review, and... Like always, in moderation, do everything that you do, and drink responsibly. Have a good night, everyone.